Let's talk about what to do when you come across something that could be really useful in the future. It's perfectly fine, in great condition. You can totally see the potential of the item until so you feel bad getting rid of it or you have some guilt associated with it and so you are tempted to keep it. This happens all the time to me, <laughs> I think to everyone else. Let me know in a comment if this is you, but these are some little beads and gems. Over the weekend, I bought some little manipulatives to work with my daughter with her preschool and put them in this little case. Now this is where they fit and this is where they go. They have this designated container. This is gonna to apply to anything, whether or not you're dealing with yourself, little manipulatives or a preschool age child, it doesn't matter. The concept completely stands. So bear with me is what I'm trying to say. So I have this little container. This is completely full. This is what is left over. These are adorable. Can I just say that's one of the things that gets us, I think, how cute are these? One, two, I just bought these manipulatives and so therefore, of course, I'm gonna wanna keep them. Now is where I think we start kind of going down the spiral of how I'm gonna use these someday. And this is where I think we really start getting ourselves into trouble is we say, okay, I feel too bad getting rid of these. That's obvious. I think they're cute, I spent the money. I am gonna use these in a different way. So when I'm done with my daughter, I'm gonna figure out a way to use some cute wooden stars and some darling little mushrooms. I even know where I will store these extras. I have a little crafting bin upstairs. That's where they go. I know they'll fit. So in my mind, I'm gonna talk myself into keeping these. Here's the problem. I know that what's gonna happen is I'm never gonna use these, flat out. I will not use them. No matter how cute they are, no matter that I know where they go, no matter that they fit, no matter that I spent money, no matter any of that, I know I've never come into a situation where I've needed little mushrooms, little stars, and little clouds and rainbows. I, it hasn't happened. You could say, well, I need them now because look, I just found a reason to go out and buy them. So I obviously found a use for them. So I'll find a use again. That's another one where you can get really stuck. Well, here's the thing. I have been preschooling with my kids for 13 years. And this is the first time I've ever decided to do this. Ever, ever, ever. So I can tell myself that it's okay to get rid of these extra. Not only that, when we're done with these, I can declutter these too. This is how clutter accumulates in our homes. It's this simple. It's one little baggie. It's one little container. It's not boxes, bins full of stuff at a time. It's one little tiny thing. And you do this enough times and you have a clutter problem <laughs> like I have had so bad in my life. So I'm not gonna keep these at all and I'm going to declutter these unless I have an absolute immediate purpose with these. Now let's talk about these adorable little pantry stickers that came in this pack of like 10 and they're for organizing your pantry. Here's what I did. I used the ones that I wanted to use with the decluttering and organizing project in my pantry. And then I said, I think these are adorable. I think I am gonna hang on to them because what if I wanna go further with this organizing project? What if I end up getting more plastic clear containers and I, I will be so sad that I decluttered these. I could order these on Amazon for a few dollars and have them in a couple of days. Now I'm not gonna declutter these if I know I'm gonna use them or I'm in the middle of using them. So there's a difference I think and that's where we have to kind of make that mental shift. I no longer want to keep these because I've come to the realization that I'm not gonna do more decluttering slash organizing in that pantry. It's done. I've lived with those clear containers and the organization system that I've put in place now for months and months. 
and I'm happy with it. It's working so well. So I know for a fact that I can declutter these. This next one is a little more tricky, I think. So I have rarely regretted decluttering anything. I usually feel some ping of guilt at some point or a moment of regret, maybe over a few items this has happened and I will just move on. I will forget about the item. I'll forget that I ever wished I had not decluttered it, but there are a couple of things that I truly miss still to this day and I decluttered them years ago. One of them was a gorgeous pie dish. It was blue, it was a deep dish, it was so, so beautiful. The quality was outstanding. I have missed that pie dish several times. I've made pot pie, I've made apple pie, I've made so many things over the years and I've always wished that I had that. Now I have this smaller one. I use this all the time. Is it a little small for pot pies? Yes, <laughs> it is. I have one in my cart currently on Amazon. It's $25. It looks exactly like the one that I lost, that I gave away. And I think I will eventually purchase that because I love pot pie that much. <laughs> I really think that I would make it more often if I had the proper dish. So a couple thoughts about this situation. Is it possible that you could regret decluttering something? A hundred percent. It is, I guarantee that it's going to happen. I think once you realize and accept that yes, you're going to regret decluttering a couple of things, it just, it kind of gives you more permission to go ahead and let things go. So just accept the fact that you will very, very likely regret decluttering a couple things. Don't worry, when it's everyday stuff, when it's a pie pan, and when it's little gems from Hobby Lobby, and it's stickers for the pantry, it doesn't matter. It's okay if you end up regretting it because you will either one, use something else instead, and it will work well enough, or you'll be like me and you'll go ahead and put the pie pan in your Amazon cart for $25. But the benefits of me living in a more simplified space, in a more clutter-free home, are way worth the $25 that I'm gonna have to spend rebuying that pie pan. So you have to do a mental game. And once again, that you get that confidence and you say, I know I'm going into this with um, potential regret, but I'm okay with that because I know the outcome is gonna be worth it. You could not pay me to bring the clutter back into my home. And that's no joke. So $25 to me, although it is a pinch of money and it is a bummer, is a thousand times worth it. And I'm actually okay with the fact that I got rid of that beautiful pie dish because I got a decluttered home out of the deal. And that is so, so, so worth it to me. So there is so much of a mental shift that has to take place and you have to kind of view yourself a little bit differently. Don't go in shaky handed, worried that you're gonna make a mistake. You will make a mistake. <laughs> you're going to declutter something you regret, but you're not gonna let yourself get rid of your favorite things and you're gonna be able to replace them. Whether you borrow, thrift, or buy new, there is such an excess of items out there. It's so easy to get your hands on it. So don't worry. I know it seems like a small thing, but these things really do add up and contribute to a very overwhelmed and cluttered feeling home if we keep everything. Hopefully today's video was helpful. Thanks for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.